Hello and welcome to Prince Civil Services YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Sanchit and today we are going to learn about the craft traditions behind PM Modi's special gift for G7 leaders. And friends, this is part two. We have done the part one where we saw that what gifts were given by PM Modi to the leaders present at G7 summit, which was recently happening happened at the Germany. So we are going to continue that. Please watch the part one and this is part two. And to start the video, I would like to stress that art and craft traditions and the questions from this topic are very much probable. And it is kind of difficult part for students because they get bored by studying this. But this is very important and please start taking interest in art, heritage, culture of India. So let's start this part two. So the next gift he gave was for UK's prime minister and it was a hand painted tea set. So uh, please watch the part one because I have explained here, explained there that what to read and how to read, how should remember you th these things and so on. So this tea set is from basically Buland Shahar district, which is very famous for its pottery products. So from Buland Shahar district, a tea set was uh, uh, was transported to uh, UK PM at Germany. So in this craft form, the embossed outlines are laid on manually with mehendi cone. So basically, first they do is that manually with the help of a mehendi cone, outlines are made, and it requires extreme skill because if you go here and there, then design will be distorted. Now. Then each shape is then separately filled with color and entire cup is fired again. So first you get a pottery or you get a cup, then you start designing over it and then you again fire it. So this is basically the hand painted tea set from Buland Shahar district, which is known for its pottery. But you should also remember that uh, throughout this video, all the things are basically from uh, mainly from Uttar Pradesh and there is one scheme known as one district, one product. So it is a very important scheme where each district having some famous product is being focused on and it is promoted. So Bulanshir, Pottery and so on. Next is Ithar bottles in Zardozi box to French president. We all know that what is Ithar? Ithar is basically a kind of oil and which is used as a base for making perfumes. So, ether was given in ether bottles packed in Zardozi box. Now, what is important is, what is Zardozi? Zardozi comes from two Persian words, Zar or Zareen meaning gold and Dozi meaning swing. So, Zar means gold and Dozi means swing. So, basically, what is this? It is a heavy and elaborate metal embroidery on silk, satin or velvet fabric base. So what you do is you take uh, the gold thread and you start doing the embroidery. So this is Zardozi, Zardozi. So basically what was given, you can see it. So it is a box where Zardozi is done and these are the itrs, that is the perfumes. So it was given in this box, which is made through Zardozi. Now Zardozi, so this was crafted in Lucknow. So Zari Zardozi box was hand embroidered. So India is famous for its handcraft and this was one such example. So Zardozi box and having ithar bottles was given to French president. Next is marble inlay table top for, for Italy's prime minister. And I will come directly to the main topic that is Pitra Dura. This is very important term. So uh, you must have read about it when you have read the Indo-Islamic architecture. Uh, I hope uh, you have visited the great Muslim uh, Mughal ruler and uh, architecture sites like Taj Mahal and so on. So there Petra Dura is used because uh, in those days in Indo-Islamic architecture, the uh, you cannot cannot have the human figures. Okay, so it is kind of prohibited. So what you do is you have to uh, provide some ornamentation. So ornamentation for that you use Petra Dura. So Petra Dura or marble inlay has its origin in 
opus sectile and which is a form of petra dura popularized in ancient and medieval roman world so petra dura comes from opus sectile which is a form of petra dura which is famous in the roman world and roman world or the rome it is in italy that is why it uh, the italian pm was given the marble inlay table top so you can see here there is a marble there is a carving and then it is filled with precious stones colors and so on so rich it is very rich culture next is metal mar marodi carving matka for german chancellor so what is this this is a nickel coated you can see in the image this is a nickel coated basically nickel coated hand engraved brass vessel which is a masterpiece from moradabad and moradabad is known as the brass city or the pital nagri so this is from moradabad the brass city or the pital nagri now what happens in this after casting the pot first you made a pot then design that are to be engraved on that are first sketched on a paper now an outline of the whole design this is very very important point here that first you get a design then over the pot you drew the design or engrave the design with the help of a hammer and a wooden block so this type of engraving is called marodi because there are curved lines used to fill up the negative space so you can see in this image there are carved lines which are running everywhere so this is marodi carving and this is from moradabad the brass city or the pital nagri then you have got the moonj baskets cotton dories for senegal's president so moonj basically moonj is the name of the plant sacrum bengalensis plant so the, what is moonj moonj is a name of a plant and from that you get the product or raw material from which you made different types of baskets and so on so moonj is example of utilitarian handicraft so what is utilitarian handicraft which is everyday usable product so some products are made for the aesthetics or luxury and so on but utilitarian products are those products which have everyday usage they are not made for aesthetics so you can see this is a basket and this is a everyday product so moonj is an example of utilitarian handicraft made with sustainably sourced material so as i told you moonj is a type of a name of a plant so it is sustainable source material now why this gift was given to senegal president basically in senegal there is also a tradition of hand weaving and it is passed down from mother to daughter so this is a tradition in senegal and this tradition is same in your uttar pradesh like prayag uh, prayagraj sultanpur and amethi and there it is only the moonj or the sacrum bengal in his plant is grown and it act as a raw material or the source of this uh, product that is the moonj and another is another is cotton dories which are famous from sitapur sitapur is in uttar pradesh only so cotton dories were given also in the form of gift to senegal's president next is lacquer ware ram darbar to indonesian president please remember this this is a gi tagged product so we have discussed in the part 1 what is gi tagging or geographical indication so basically lacquer ware ram darbar La this lacquer ware is a art form which has got the gi tag and it is from varanasi so lacquer ware ram darbar was given let me tell you something about the history of indonesia so Ind so indonesia is also having a huge hindu population so you have got their rec recitation of ramayan you have got ram leela and so on so it was a cultural contact which was renewed so it was given in the form of a lacquer ware ram darbar in indonesia there is performance of ramayan as i told you that the, the ramayan is narrated and in the form of shadow puppetry so let me just show you so this is shadow puppetry what happens is there is a screen uh, uh, in the backdrop 
you have got the uh, paper cutouts of the performances or the character now you throw a light from the behind and there is a shadow on the screen so this is known as shadow puppetry so in indonesia there is a shadow puppetry and through that Nar ramayan is narrated okay so this is the a masterpiece lacquerware art form which has been given as a gift next is hand knotted kashmir silk carpet to canada's pm so kashmir is known for its handicraft the wood handicrafts and the uh, wool and so on pashmina we all know that so carpets are very famous of kashmir and canada's pm was given this hand knotted kashmiri silk carpet okay so you can see here this is the hand knotted kashmiri silk carpet so this was a brief overview of what were the gifts given by pm modi to the leaders present at g7 summit i hope you got you have got an idea but the point which is more important here is that you should start reading or learning about indian craft and traditions because uh, the civil services exam and the uh, authority which takes it have a habit of asking question related with the indian art and culture so that was the video i hope you have watched the part 1 this was part 2 so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel prince civil services you can also follow us on telegram and instagram so keep watching keep learning